Hi, welcome to another tutorial of the self-defense. This one's aimed at the green and red belts. For this rotation, we are working on the two onto one self-defense numbers one, two, and three. So we're going to have a look starting off uh, practicing alone. So I'm going to go through them to explain some of the detail, and then I'm going to grab Mr. McCann to come in and give me a hand and we'll demonstrate how the techniques work with a partner. So we're going to start off with number one. I'm just going to grab a pad from the side. So if you're practicing the dome, uh, what I suggest is just get a cushion off the cab, put it down, simulate that's the person, so we get that way we can make sure our feet are in the right place. So, two onto two means that your opponent or your attacker is using both hands to grab one of your wrists. In this instance, they're going to be grabbing my right wrist. Number one, hands out, being grabbed. First thing again, just like the most of open that hand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the grab side forward and I'm going to twist the hand spear down. So I've made the hand bigger and I'm pushing down into that uh, sound. So I'm dropping my body weight. Next thing I'm going to bring the hand up and at the same time my left hand is going to be striking under that elbow. As I step through now into horse stance, I'm going to pull on the wrist, push the elbow over and pull that arm across my legs. So the arm now is wedged on the tops of your thighs and you just lean on that. Raise the elbow, drop the elbow with a loud shout. So again, this looks like this. It's going to open the hand, going to twist into it, bring the arm up, strike under the elbow, pull round, drop that elbow. Okay. We'll go into some detail and I'm going to get the uh, some zooming in on some of this towards the end of the video as well. We're going to move on now to number two. So the number two, again, they're attacking the right hand. Importantly, we're going to hold the hand, take a short step back with the left leg, reach in between the arms and grab your own fingertips, and then sink. So you're going to basically rock your knees. So the weight goes onto the left foot, and you're going to drop. Push the elbow up between the arms. Now I like to imagine striking under the chin with the elbow. At that point, you broke free, so the right arm comes down, the left arm comes out for balance, kick to the groin, step down, punch it onto the sternum there, and step back. Hand out, open it, reach in, grab, small step, drive up the elbow, kick, step down, loud shout. And back. Okay, let's have a look at number three. So on the number three, we're going to open the hand, and what I like to do is point the hand away. This makes a hole. If you imagine being grabbed, so you can reach in and really get a hold of the hand. Thumb on the back of the wrist, fingers dig in. Now we're going to step under the armpit on this side. So grab, re-grab that arm, so you're grabbing your partner's right arm. And you've got to do the work on this. You've got to dip. So you've got to bend those knees. You've got to come in close. Get the arm behind you. Turn your body. Keep the arm close to your chest. Step back and round. Squeeze it. And punch with the right hand. Okay. So again, got the hand. Open it. Grab in. Dip the head. Just went under the armpit. Turn the body. Step round. And drive that punch in. Okay, let's pause there for a second while I get Mr. McCann in who's going to come and help me with the rest of it. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Um, then working with a partner, so of course, first thing we're going to do in a second is do a bar, and then we're going to go through all the three self defense techniques with a partner. We're going to do them at full speed, do them slowly, and then towards the end of the video, we'll zoom in on any of the, the, the detail that I feel needs a little bit more explanation so you can get a good look at what's going on. Okay. Okay. So again, this is going to step in. So this is a, we're not going to offer the arm, you're going to step in and grab the arm. So on number one, I'm going to do this from a few different angles. I'm going to open the hand, push forward and twist the body. As I bring this arm up here, the left hand's going to strike under the elbow. Grab him here, 
stepping through into horse stance, using a bit of leverage on the wrist and the elbow, and then across the body, raise the elbow, and drop. So again, he's going to grab, he's going to open, take him round, and drop. I'm going to do that from another angle. So we'll come this way around. So you can step in and grab there, open the hand, go twist into this, come under, strike it here. So as I'm pushing and levering here, stepping through, pulling the arm across the body. Raise, and drop the elbow. So we'll have a look at number two. So we'll switch sides for a second. Again, he's going to step in. So, open the hand. I'm going to reach in between the arms and grab my own fingers. As I do this, I'm taking a small step back onto that left and sink my body weight. I'm going to drive the elbow through the middle. Right arm comes back, left arm comes out, kick to the groin, step down, and punch with the right arm. Again, a little quicker this time. I'm going to reach in. Break free, kick, and punch. Hold the right goal. So as he steps in, open, we're reaching, rock back, drag the elbow through the middle. Kick, and punch. Okay. So we will go through some of the details in a second on that. I want to get this third one done. So, as he steps in, again, two onto one grip. Open the hand, uh, and watch me, I'm going to point the fingers away on this one. This makes a hole in the palm of the hand. So I'm grabbing, I'm reaching in. Then I'm re grabbing this right arm. I've got to do the work here, so I'm going to dive underneath the arm, okay? Twist, keeping his arm close to my body. Step back down, lift him, and do the punch. Do that from the other side. So as he steps in, just grab, put it open, point the fingers out, grab in, re grab, step underneath the arm, twist the body, come all the way around, really in the space. Do the punch. If you notice, I'm grabbing down on the hand. I'm not grabbing up here on the arm. There's not much on that. I'm going to get a good tweak. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Thank you. Now, we'll take this break for a second while we line up. And we're going to set up now and do a little bit of detail on each one of those three for you. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're going to quickly look through some of the detail on the first one of the two onto one wrist grip. And what I want to go through is the break free, the important bit. So as the part that grabs you, open the hand. Notice I'm going to lead in, so I'm pushing with the hip and shoulder up and across the body. And I'm dropping the elbow as I break in here, I'm going to raise the arm, strike to the elbow. If I can get some pressure going forwards, I'll get the bend here, which makes the leverage a lot more simple. So then step through, pull on the wrist, push on the elbow, and at the same time rotate around your body to this position. Then you can drop. So let's look at that one again. It's a lot of detail there. So it's open, turn into it, and you bring it up, strike the elbow. Try and collapse that in a little. Get this bend. Step it through, push it over, and pull them around. And the aim here is to make it smooth. When we start off, everything looks clunky. What we need to do is round those corners off and make it move nice and smoothly. Okay, for the second one, I think the biggest challenge we, feel, we find is grabbing the hand properly. So as they grab, it's coming through. A lot of people tend to grab and pull against. So you've got to reach through and grab your own hand and fingers. And then it's dropping the weight, dropping the elbow and pushing it up here. So again, it's drop into it and push the elbow up. And with all the self-defense at that point, if you've broke free, we're away. We don't need to finish those off if you go, oh, 
then we've just broke free, we've done the important part. And for the third one, what I want to go through is the grip in the hand. So we're going to step a little bit closer to the camera, tilt it down a little. Uh, so you probably won't see all of me, but you'll hear me. So on this point, is grab the hand, I'm going to open and pull the hand out. And what we want to look, if you get into the arm, this is the hole I'm talking about here. That's where your fingers are going to go. Grab in there and thumb around the wrist. Other thumb, come over the top and lock that up. And then the next bit, you have to do the work. You've got to dive low, keep this arm straight, head under the armpit. You're going to dive into it. Turn the body, keeping this tight to your so you're in control. Turn it around, and when you lift it, that's the grimace. And then you can put the finisher on. Change sides. We shall change sides. Okay. So as you sort of grab and open the hand, reach into the palm, thumb on the back of that wrist. I'm going to reach over the top and lock, on, lock this spot on here. Then I'm going to step straight under the arm. Twist, keeping this arm close to my body. Take another step, lift, and then punch. I'm going to leave that there. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And look out for many more. So in the next video you'll see probably end of the black belts. See you all soon. See you back in class. Thank you.